My name is Julie McGuire with Zanzibar's Coffee Adventure in Des Moines, Iowa. We opened our store in the summer of 1993. We're approaching 19, the, our 19th anniversary. Over the years, there have been a few things that I have um, created, um, some training manuals, some operational manuals, um, and I did not have those when I opened. And they might have been helpful had I gone through the process of creating those before I opened. Um, but because we were small when I opened, and by small I don't mean spatially small, there was not, uh, the, the level of business that we had was very, very manageable. I was afforded the time to kind of, in an evolutionary way, have those things come to the fore and demonstrate that they would add value and for me to take the time to make them. Now, one of the things that's also very, very different about my industry specific is that it has also grown dramatically. So when I opened in 1993, there was very, very little um, outside support, consulting support, business support, how-to support. I think that the thing that's interesting, in, because I do all of the training myself um, still, is that I have noticed a change in people's, what for me was an uh, obvious aspect of customer service. Greeting, hello, what can we do for you, etc., etc. And that is less obvious for many people and uh, more specifically for a lot of younger people. And I think that what's fascinating as I have watched the rest of the retail world change, uh, I think that so much of that comes from the fact that it's not modeled to them. In many, many shopping environments, there is no longer someone whose responsibility is to greet and interact the customer. So the kinds of customer service exposure that I had growing up is not entirely absent, but it is dramatically reduced from what it was uh, when I was younger. So just from a modeling point of view, a lot of uh, young uh, employees don't automatically understand what needs to happen in order to be um, a suitable customer server. The other critical management things involve um, mostly involved employees and that takes a very special person and so in order for our customer service to be uh, at the level that I expect in order for our production uh, and consistency and quality of production for every product to be at the level that I expect it's very important that I am the person who is disseminating that message to the person who's actually in the process of making the product and interacting with the customer if I had an eternally consistent staff, it would be easier. So that comes back to the training. So the employee is fully informed of the system that's in place. They know what, is, what needs to happen, what's expected of them, how often it needs to happen, uh, how to interact with, you know, how to behave in certain scenarios.